In this video we are going to talk about top 10 facts and things to know about Irish Doodle. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Irish Doodle also called the Irish Poo Setter, Irish Setter Poo, Irish Setter Doodle, and Doodle Setter, the Irish Doodle is a very cute, light-hearted, and very friendly medium-sized crossbreed of Poodle and Irish Setter. This is perfect for those who are looking for a dog, that will not shed much and who is going to be smart, social and loyal. This dog rarely barks and can even make excellent connections with pets and children. So many interesting facts about this breed, yeah. Number 10. Their parents are very popular and intelligent. Poodles are so popular in hybrid mixes because of their hypoallergenic coat. Furthermore, their snug curl traps the dander, thus making them low-shedding dogs. Irish setters, on the other hand, are high-spirited gun dogs known for their grace, freshly red coat, and swiftness. They are popularly great family dogs, rollicking playmates, folk companions, and sweet-tempered. Number 9. They are very friendly and gentle. The air loved for their very gentle and friendly nature. When accustomed to socializing at an early age, they are tolerant of all pets, kids, etc. Their eagerness and intelligence in pleasing only means they're more responsive than some dog breeds. Number 8. They might live for about 10 to 15 years. They might live for about 10 to 15 years due to the enhanced lifespan of the standard poodle, the Irish Doodle Us. Number 7. They are easily identified. They are quite easy to recognize. Most of them have a regular teddy bear-like look. As we have said, they are likely to possess a wavy, soft coat. Most are colored brown, yet they may range in some other colors too. Number 6. They might be hypoallergenic. Hypoallergenic means that they have a reduced shedding coat, which subsequently produces lesser dander. Even though some Irish doodles are hypoallergenic, they still need regular grooming, so their coat may commonly get away and soft. Make sure as well, to clean their ears regularly, together with their teeth. Number 5. They are international hybrid designer dog. Due to the fact that this dog is hybrid, you might never be 100% certain of the personality and temperament of the Irish Doodle. They might be more Irish setter than Poodle, or vice versa. In search of the best family companion, it's hoped that by cross-breeding Poodle with Irish setter, the result might be a gentle, sweet-tempered dog with trainability and intelligence to adapt to whatever situation. Number 4. They make a great running buddy. These cute little pooches are best suitable for active homes where there's a lot of fun happening. They need an aloft of 60 minutes of exercise every day, with additional time spent in training and working on some brain games. In spite of their small size, they are surely a contender for a new running partner. Moreover, you need to make sure that you are feeding them good quality food, which meets the daily nutritional requirements, most significantly their fat and protein needs. Number 3. They are highly trainable. Thanks to the Poodle parent's intelligence, and the Irish setter's eagerness in pleasing, our Irish Poodle is very much trainable. Just like all dogs, they also respond best to reward-based training and positive reinforcement. Repetition is the key give your Irish Doodle chances to learn and set it up to succeed. Number 2. They have a high price value. The price of one Irish Doodle is very high you may expect to pay anywhere between $1,500 to $3,500. This is quite a high price tag for such a small dog. As the demand for these puppies keeps on increasing, expect that the price will do the same. Number 1. They love people, especially their family. The Irish Doodle is very friendly when accustomed to socialization. They love everything and everyone, their family in particular. Further, they stand kids of any age and are so gentle with their grandparents. When raised with them, they are also tolerant of some other animals at home. However, their love for people may imply that they are struggling to be left alone at home. They might whine, cry, chew, dig, pine, and commonly destroy things in the periods of absence. What do you think of our list? Which of the facts you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.